Welcome back to Channel 18, and our new guest is Ed McManus, uh, chairman of Beach Day and many other days <laughs> that are coming up in September. But today we're going to talk just about Beach Day. Is that right, Ed? Yep, yep. Uh, Beach Day, as everybody knows, is one of the activities that the Harwich Cranberry Festival Committee puts on. And uh, to say I'm chairman, I'm chairman of the committee, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the two folks that uh, have spearheaded uh, putting together Beach Day now for the past four or five years are Tom and Dolores Sherry, and they really knock themselves out. Uh, the, the list of activities they've put together and the amount of work they put into it is amazing. Um, it, uh, is on, it, it's going to be on Saturday, um, uh, uh, September um, 4th, is it? Third? No, no, it's... Uh, um, oh, Christ. 31st, the 30th is uh, Tuesday. Um, it's, it's, well, it's a Saturday after Labor Day, and this, Labor Day is the 7th, so. So it's the 12th. The 12th. Um, and uh, that's that Saturday. Um, and uh, will be a rain day on the 13th if we get rain on, on, on Saturday, which is sometimes happens in September. Uh, <laughs> But uh, it begins at 11 o'clock uh, down at Red River Beach. Um, and we have a whole list of uh, things lined up. Uh, the, the Sherry's do a whole bunch of games and contests on the beach, which uh, they've gone out. And there's a whole variety of prizes that uh, they've gotten from local merchants. At this point, I think there isn't a merchant in uh, Harwich, <laughs> Chatham, or, or uh, uh, Dennis that hasn't been uh, put in something for a prize or a raffle item. Uh, there'll be a uh, crafts tent, uh, which uh, folks at the Chamber of Commerce help us out with. Um, uh, the Kakunis family are going to be bringing over a whole uh, stable of uh, farm animals to oh. sort of do a petting zoo and talk about uh, farming on Cape Cod. Um, uh, the various town departments will be bringing down some of their equipment to do a touch a tuck, touch a truck <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, activity for the kids to climb around on some of the equipment. Um, we have a, a young man who's been coming now. This will be his third year uh, doing a magic act, um, which is always quite good. And uh, Sparky uh, of Sparky's Hay Rides will be <laughs> along uh, to give hay rides down to the end mm -hmm. of uh, Red River Beach and back. And then the, the festival committee itself will have our uh, refreshment booth uh, set up uh, um, for hamburgers, hot dogs, sausages, and a variety of things to eat. We also are putting together a bake sale uh, table uh, to get some you know cookies and some nice. Uh, 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 delicious baked treats to eat either there or to take home. Um, and then uh, I mentioned that uh, some of the gifts and items that the merchants have uh, donated are, are larger items um, that we, we set up a, a, uh, a raffle table and it's the sort of, you know, you buy a certain number of tickets and put your name on and drop them in the bag and we draw out at the end of the day, and some of the some of the prizes are quite nice. Um, RPM Carpets gives mm. a a piece of carpeting that gets installed, and and uh, uh, we've had TVs and other things uh, donated in the past. So it's a it's a uh, quite a good raffle. Um, that goes from 11 to about three. Um, uh, those activities. Uh, and then at, uh, at 6 o'clock, uh, we sort of start up again. Uh, we have a, a local Cape, longtime Cape singer, Sarah Burrell, uh, comes and does, uh, sets up and does a, a sort of a beach music uh, sing-along, mm -hmm. a whole variety of fairly contemporary music, a lot of sing-along, which is a, which a lot Kids of fun. Kids like that. Kids like that. And then at... Uh, at about 7 o'clock, a little bit later, we time it with uh, when it gets dark, uh, we have light off a, a big bonfire on the beach. And uh, it's a, sort of a nice end of the summer activity, <laughs> um, which uh, Beach Day has always been, been viewed as. Um, but uh, it's a good time. We've, uh, 
Uh, last year on Saturday, it was a little overcast and a little windy, but we we held it. And then we'll only really cancel it if it's a re it's if it's really, really raining. raining. If it's if it's raining, a um, uh, little bit of an overcast. You know, it's still a good day down at the beach. You may not want to go in or lay in the sun, but uh, it's still a lot of the three-legged races and tug-of-war and all of those sorts of beach games are still uh, a good day to do that sort of thing. Very good. And that's uh, and that'll happen. It'll be either uh, the, like I said, Saturday, Saturday the eighth, or or uh, the rain day on Sunday the ninth, and yeah, the twelfth and thirteenth. Uh, the twelfth. I mean, I, I'm getting mixed up. Yes, yeah, Saturday the twelfth, um, or rain day is the thirteenth, and then the following weekend, the nineteenth and twentieth, yeah. are, are the cranberry festival. And I know that the. Your uh, director here has asked me to come back and talk about that separately because you don't want to the festival people. weekend, there's going to be a lot of moving parts with a lot of activities happening that That's weekend. Right. And so yeah. we'll, we'll keep that separate. <laughs> but uh, I hope uh, folks can come down, bring the kids. Uh, well, you always have a good crowd. Oh, yeah. 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 We've had, uh, we're pushing probably six, seven hundred uh, kids show up. And, well, that's know, a lot yeah, of children. Yeah, a lot of children. So and it's, it's a, a lot of them. Now you need a you need a staff. Oh yeah. To take care of these children. Yeah, we and we get volunteers. Um, uh, we've been got, getting a lot of help recently from the Girl Scouts and and uh, Brownie Scout groups. Um, the Chamber of Commerce has come forward. They help manage the the crafts tent, and then uh, we've gotten uh, some of our. Uh, festival volunteers are active volunteers at the family pantry. We've gotten some of those folks to come down and help us. That's good. Um, other members are in, attached to the cultural council, and then we get a few of the volunteers involved with the cultural council to help out. And then uh, uh, we get uh, uh, over time, we have gotten a whole variety of kids coming out of the high school, um, Monomoy High School now, <laughs> formerly Harwich High School, and. Uh, and they uh, work with us, and, it, and it's nice. It gives us a chance to get to know some of the high school students who will be uh, later in the year applying for scholarships, which is uh, our, our scholarship program. And so it, it's a way to get to know uh, who some of those applicants are. Some of those people are. Yeah. Yeah. Well, sounds like you've got it all covered. Yeah, we try. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> hope to see you there. Very good. Thank you for coming. All right. Take care.